Analytical chemistry, the mystery of molecules. So today we shall discuss a topic related to heterocyclic chemistry, and it is acridine synthesis. The acridine is this molecule. Okay. So here you can see that one pyridine nucleus is in between the two benzene. You may compare this thing as a combination of anthracene. This is anthracene, and this is pyridine. So it's a combination. So and this molecule you can consider that it's it's like a it shows property like this pyridine or you can say this is actually half part is also, also quinoline type so we we'll learn its synthesis now before going to details i want to uh, request you please pause the video and try this mcq i shall provide the answer at the end of this discussion now let's start how the reaction happens see this is actually dry phenyl i mean by the way its name is that Brinson acridine synthesis. Now, so this is actually this is actually diphenyl amine, and it's react with carboxylic acid. Now, if I ask you, student, that what do you think? Diphenyl amine is electron rich or electron deficient? Obviously, this is electron rich. Why? Because the presence of these nitrogen. Uh, so it's attached to two phenyl, and we know that these amine or aniline derivatives. Are ortho para orienting as well as activating. So this is activating, and this carboxylic acid. This is actually carboxylic acid, and carboxylic acids are generally not that much electrophilic. But we need aromatic electrophilic substitution at selective ortho position. I shall explain the mechanism. That time you will understand. So that's why some Lewis acid or this polyphosphoric acid type acid needed, which can generate electrophile from this. Uh, carboxylic acid you can say how by removal of this oh minus so what it will produce r c o o plus i guess student you know this thing very well because in fiddlecraft acylation we use reagent like r c o c l and aluminum 3 plus like aluminum chloride so in that case this chloro eliminates and produces the similar thing so i guess you know this is actually acylium cation so in this way reaction happens an interesting point please remember that polyphosphoric acid results in lower yield but also needed lesser temperature compared to zinc chloride and look at the temperature very carefully it's 200 to 270 degree so in this reaction there is another by product will produce that is water so this high temperature also is needed for this elimination of water molecule second thing if you look this reaction little closely this reaction is nothing but actually a combination of a fiddlecraft alkylize alkylation cyclization water elimination in presence of a lewis acid okay lewis acid means zinc chloride or any protic acid like polyphosphoric acid and under high temperature and what is the driving force for this reaction obviously aromaticity okay so we shall explain so this thing and as a home tax i am giving you one example another this is actually same diphenyl i mean this is chloroform this is alcl3 and this produces also acridine okay but in this case not substituted this is proton so as a home tax i am giving please try this mechanism i guess you can understand as a clue i am giving that this reaction goes through feldcraft alkylation so what happens in terms of c this is a carbon chlorine bond and this is a aluminum 3 plus what electrophile will produce and how the reaction will go second clue the oxidation state if you consider this carboxylic acid oxidation state and this chloroform almost same so that's the thing but please ignore the presence of hydrogen consider this instead of hydrogen there is a r so in that case the oxidation state is same plus 3 in both case so similar kind of reactivity will happen uh, and this will be produced so you please try by yourself i guess you'll be able to do and if you feel any difficulty please visit the lectures related to aromatic electrolytic substitution i have already already uploaded now mechanism how the reaction happens actually as i told that this diphenyl amine is activated molecule so it is ortho para orienting second thing this dif this uh, nitrogen lone pair actually we know nitrogen is mm, basic and it can donate its lone pair means it can act as lewis base lewis base so and in presence in here you can see there is zinc chloride which is nothing but a lewis acid so this lewis acid lewis base interaction possible and ha what happens these lone pair donated to the vacant d orbital of zinc so ultimately they produces this lewis acid lewis base adduct so in the next step what happens <coughs> see 
zinc chloride is Lewis acidic so it coordinates to amine and it can coordinate to carboxylic acid and it can prove up it can um, have coordination number four very easily right now how many coordination number one is from amine nitrogen lone pair and two from chlorine so one vacant site is there so what happens these oxygen donates this lone pair no so which lone pair is donated the lone pair donated because of this canonical form what is the canonical form this is O minus, this is OH plus. We know that the carbonyl oxygens are more electron rich because of this canonical form. So, consequently, what will happen? That this will coordinate to the zinc plus. Fine. So, what it will produce? So, it will produce this coordinated species. And this coordinated species, in this case, you can see clearly that this zinc due to the zinc coordination first of all the electron deficiency of this carbonyl carbon increases what do i mean see carboxylic carbon is not that much electron deficient because of the resonance of this means this lone pair is delocalized so that's why it is not that much electron deficient but when it coordinated to this zinc so what happens the somehow the electron density from carbonyl oxygen is drifted or donated to the zinc center consequently this center became more electrophilic point number one second so it is not still that much active second there is an aniline you can say attached to benzene so this nucleus is activated and ortho para orienting now question so there are two chance possible one is ortho one is para but remember student because of this coordination of zinc this ortho position and this carbonyl oxygen come closer together you can do a numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 member ring formation possible because of chelation. This thing you can co correlate little bit, a little bit about the directed ortholithation concept which I have already explained. So, in this case, what it will produce? So, in this case, this double bond, this double bond will act as a electrophile and attack here and produces this six member ring and after this attack there will be a positive charge generation you can see here and this positive charge will be neutralized by the lone pair conjugation of this nitrogen fine and un understood second step what is since aromaticity is destroyed this proton will be abstracted and aromaticity will be regained so then this thing will be produced now what we got here we got here actually a gem diol. Please look at this part, gem diol. So, and we know the gem diols are not that much stable. I have already discussed previously about the stability of gem diol. So, what they do, this gem diol instantly converted into their stable conformer that is the corresponding carbonyl. And remember that uh, this keto is energetically more stable compared to enol or better to say gem diol. So, and another thing. Previously, this coordination, it was in between this nitrogen, zinc and this. So, after water removal, there is a two chance. One chance is that nitrogen will re coordinate. Second, zinc, this zinc will coordinate to oxygen. There could be infinite possibility, but we are discussing how the reaction is happening. Experimentally, we have observed that reaction happens. Now, we have to give proper logical explanation how this is happening so that's why we are saying that this oxygen will coordinate because oxygen can act as a lewis base and zinc can act as a lewis acid so after this adduct formation reaction will happen fine so we know that this carbonyl group is already electron deficient means ketone but because of bulkness ketone uh, is somehow reluctant towards nucleophilic attack but if you increase the electron deficiency of the ketone reaction will happen means there are two factor one is steric factor one is electronic factor we can't control the steric one but we can control the electronic one by presence of lewis acid that is zinc so in this case after zinc coordination the electron deficiency at this carbonyl carbon will increase consequently this ring will attack now you will ask that sir why this ring attacks see this ring is attached to this keto so it is electron deficient but whereas if you look at the other ring means left side this ring is not attached to any electron withdrawing group however it is attached to this nitrogen means still it is activating and ortho para orienting since these two this ortho side and these are close enough so they will react and if they react how many number of ring formation possible one two three four five six again 
six member ring formation always favored so consequently what will happen in this case this will attack similar way and ultimately produce this o minus which will remain further coordinated to the zinc fine now uh, in order to gain the aromaticity this proton will be abstracted abstracted and aromaticity will be gained this we get now there is a problem what is the problem see still we didn't get acridine in this case you can see there is one hydrogen here and there is one OH here or better to say zinc coordinate which we don't want and remember if we say that okay this hydrogen and OH will remove as a water that's logically we can say but proper condition needed see if there is polyphosphoric acid which was used as a reactant previously then it can protonate this OH to OH2 plus and it can eliminate easily but in case when this is not present then Lewis acid plays the role what it does since this Lewis acid is coordinated so of this oxygen can eliminate efficiently so how this happened this nitrogen lone pair could be pushed here it can come here and it can leave and OH is not a good living group but in presence of Lewis acid like zinc 2 plus it is good living group because the negative charge density on oxygen is somehow stabilized by zinc 2 plus through Lewis acid based adduct formation or you can say coordination and next step this proton then after this donation nitrogen will have a formal positive charge so in order to neutralize this formal positive charge this proton will go and somehow somehow someone in the reaction medium will abstract this so in this way what we will get we will get this r okay so r substituted this acridine so this is the overall mechanism for this process so now from this mechanistic study i guess you are a, you can efficiently answer this question i am not going to explain this because from if you understood the mechanism then you can explain okay and uh, so this such kind of mcq could come in your exam also so fine now let's go to the next part next mcq just at the beginning i have told this is actually acridine and if you oxidize to it aqueous kmno4 and under intense of heat what will be the product the answer is this one so why this why not other now rem just remember kmno4 is an oxidizing agent so it re resulted in oxidation oxidation happens on this acridine nucleus so oxidation what do you mean oxidation means electron withdrawing or taking off electron so which place this electron will be taken the place which is electron rich and in this case if you look at this benzene there are two benzene versus one pyridine at the beginning i have told so in this case this pyridine is more electron deficient so pyridine oxidation is not possible consequently this option not possible one gone second thing second thing that kmno4 is a selective reagent selective reagent means it is responsible for side chain oxidation not anoxide formation for anoxide formation you need mcpba type reagent i have already discussed about pyridine anoxide you can visit for better understanding so peroxy acid we need so this is not possible under this reaction condition now two option left one is this and another is this so let's focus this as i told the side chain oxidation will occur on the electron rich nucleus so this side will break or this side will break then pyridine will remain intact so this is also not possible so what option left this one now you can say that sir it is it can also oxidize because there is one benzene nucleus so it can also oxidized into the corresponding pyridine tetracarboxylic acid theoretically you are right but this is not that much easy question why so if you look at the compound initially it was relatively electron rich this one fine so after the oxidation to the first stage means here so what happens there is one benzene I agree but this pyridine is also attached to two carboxyl group which are electron withdrawing group point number one point number two pyridine is always electron withdrawing group previously this electron withdrawing effect was distributed on this left ring as well as this right ring but right now this right ring is absent in presence of the in absence of that one electron withdrawing group is also sitting so this benzene nucleus is not that much electron rich like this one so under this reaction condition 
it will not further oxidize. So, this reaction will remain at this stage. Now, some people say that sir, at dianhydride formation, remember I have written aqueous, in aqueous medium anhydride does not form, you have to isolate the compound, then you heat, then you can get anhydride. Okay? So, I guess you have understood the MCQ. Now, what, what do you have learned in today's discussion? Acrine is a pi deficient electron like pyridine quinoline, but relatively less basic than them. If you look at this pyridine, this is less bulky. Uh, this quinoline obviously one side is less in acrid in two sides so bulkness one factor second if you attach benzene nucleus benzene nucleus is electron donating pi donating so deficiency of nitro electron in the nucleus reduces so in this way nitrogen also gets enough electron density so that's why uh, so combination mainly based on steric and electronic I would rather say it is electronic main because if you look at the structure of acridine here these two side there are two hydrogen also. So, when this lone pair will react these two hydrogen will means when this lone pair will donate to proton so react something or then they can create also some interference which is absent completely in case of pyridine somewhat in case of quinoline. Point number one. Point number two. Diphenylamine is both ortho para orienting and activating due to coordination of chelation with zinc two plus ortho substitution occur. Now, carboxylic acid can generate electrophile after removal of OH. It can produce this acylium cation. This is possible either by Lewis acid or PPA, means which can protonate the acid to RCOOH two plus and then it can remove. Fine. Any, and for removal of this remember heat needed because carboxylic acid is relatively stable molecule. Fine. Now, the last one KMnO4 does not produce an oxide, but it completely oxide to carboxylic acid. Recall the side chain oxidation I have already discussed this thing previously. So, I guess you have learned a lot. This is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. Stay